All right, what I'm going to do on this particular painting, I'm going to create a uh, landscape painting where you see sort of like a mountain near the ocean. And I'm going to use a, a basic, simple um, composition. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm going to use a lot of rust colors along with some uh, vibrant colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to draw the outline of my um, landscape now. I'm going to start up here first. draw some trees right here just a little bit smaller and that's about it I have little shadows up under the mountains right here coast area and that should be it Go ahead and get started and work, start with my background first and work my way forward to the foreground. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and work on my uh, sky. I'm going to put a little uh, yellow, white, and some blues inside my sky. So, use an ultramarine blue and some uh, titanium white and a little yellow oxide. I'm going to work my way to the left, work my way to the right, from left to right, not going any particular uh, direction with my strokes, just showing a little white mixed in with a little yellow oxide. Maybe just a tad bit of blue. Well, some of that's going to turn a little greenish, but that's okay. I'm going to just show it showing through the paint. I'm just going to cover that up, make sure I cover that up. Since I'm doing the sky and cloud, I don't care if it shows just a little bit though. Just going back and forth. Nice clean strokes. I'm going to gradually start adding my blue. Trying to go back and forth with the light and dark white. It's going to show some different variations of shades to make it look like it's clouds and all those in all the interesting things that goes up and along in the sky. I kind of got my palette knife turned to the side a little bit, just going back and forth. Kind of like that.
much darker down here at the bottom than over there. I don't have that much paint on my palette knife either, so I'm kind of just almost like I'm smearing it in a little bit. Which still creates a unique effect. Got the sky. Let me step back and see how it looks. Okay, a lot going on. Let me kind of smooth it out a little bit. Got a lot of movement going on, so I'm kind of bring it down just a tad bit, especially right in here. I don't like all the little scratches showing, so I'll go back over it just a little bit. I think me having not enough paint kind of made it a little scratchy a little bit, so. Let it help it out a little bit. Yeah, it's a little better. Darken this side up just a little bit. Just kind of give it a little bit more depth. need to I come back and fix it up a little bit. Try not to get too muddy. Hope I'm not messing up. Hey, see I need to step back. That's not too bad. clouds to it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't wanna mess it up. 
If I need to, I'll come back to it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the, my uh, my C, my water. So I'm gonna use a little um, primary blue. First, I'm gonna use some ultramarine, then work my way down with some primary blue. So I'm going to make a nice, clean, dark line right here. Probably can make it a little bit darker, actually. I really didn't want it to mix in with that white, but I go back over it from the sky, so let's see. That's okay. I'll make it work. It's a nice clean line. use a different blue from the sky. I'm going to use a primary blue that's made by basic. I'm going to work my way down in the sky. I mean in the uh, ocean. Alright, so I'm going to add in some more of this primary blue. I'm putting in some of my ultramarine blue and it's kind of with color with water is it can be so many different blues especially when you come to paint it so kind of mixing in a little bit of both blues so it won't look so flat it's starting to look flat so this white line so I'm come back and clean that up. straight line, turn the tip of my brush, I mean my palette knife, kind of point it, make this straight line a little bit. There we go. Now down here I could use the same uh, color scheme I have up here, but since this is right here and the water's going to be behind this uh, piece right here, landscape right here. I'm going to actually add some uh, neutral colors kind of reflect off of this. So Let me get some of this blue off my palette knife. I'm going to 
go ahead and work right in here. And of course, I'm going to use some raw sienna, some uh, raw umber, a little bit of a mixture of everything right in here. So, but before I go in, there, let's go ahead and work on this. And I'm going to work my way to the water. I'll go ahead and put my trees up too, and I'll come back and work this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work on my trees. I'm going to use uh, raw umber to work on my trees. And, uh, I had a mixture of light red oxide and some other neutral colors. Some mixture of the yellow red oxide help get the tree some depth. Raw sienna right here. <clears throat> Mixed in with a little yellow oxide. I'm kind of going to do the same thing within the mountain. I'll give it a neutral color. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to work my way down from the top to the bottom, dark to light, to show different variations of different uh, neutral colors like raw sienna, uh, red oxide, and so forth. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going in a downward motion on, with this too. King is coming up in these white spaces. I said it's a challenge.
just getting the tip part of the mountain. Kind of do a lot of highlights. Make it a little bit lighter up here. That should be it. With the mountain over here. I guess they would call it a mountain. I don't know the correct term. Need a little yellow over here. Can help balance it off. I'm gonna add some of this to lighten it up a little bit with some white. Kind of the same tone, just a little bit lighter. That up. I don't want it to brown over here, but right in here I do. Keep calling it a brown, but neutral color. Let me get some more white. All right, go ahead and get some more down here. some of these spots right here. These empty spots with a lighter hue. Here I just added a little bit more white to what I already had right here. So just kind of balance it out. Then we mix a little blue in there too. Ultramarine blue. So just kind of show some water. this up just a little bit. that right there so I'm gonna clean that up. Take a strike there. I don't like that. Too much white on my palette night so it kinda look like a reflection. I don't want that. Take a step back. I hope that didn't take away from it. I need a little bit more dark area. Let me darken some part of it up. And that should be it. This one right in here. I 
think I might have added a little bit too much yellow, so I'm going to kind of dull it down a little bit. Ah, don't want to get it too messy. That's the only thing about palette knife. You get too much paint on your knife, you get kind of muddy, so I want to be careful of that. That should be it for right now. might be a little too light. That should be it. Kind of scratch it in a little bit. Tree might be a little too thick. Let me see if I can fix that right quick. I could have used a brush, but I kind of want like doing the whole thing with the palette knife. Should be it. Hope you guys like this tutorial. This is a um, fun one. A lot of color, a lot of uh, combination between the uh, sky um, offset and the um, neutral colors. You got the strong blues and the neutral colors over here, so kind of uh, contrast each other. Um, I could kind of uh, make my sky a little bit more neutral, blue, so to speak. Um, but I'm not so but if you have any questions please feel free to contact me I hope you guys like this tutorial thanks so much